Do we have uh, any other questions in the house? That have only been used for no, this. No, no, no sampled questions. <laughs> oh, and I'd like, and just, I don't care how good you think your question is, do not drop the mic after you ask <laughs> I saw it was very fragile. Drop the mic. Um, so we, we were talking about um, the technology of recording and the, and, the, and the tools you use, which is a lot of interest to me. One of the things, um, when, when you're mixing like, you know, two turntables, you sort of have to make the choice, like, take one record off, put another record on. And, and in the days of uh, four track and eight track, you know, you could bounce stuff to the moon and back, but every time you, you bounce, you're kind of committing to those versions and, and so the farther you get into the mixing like the more constraints there are on, on what you're doing and now with this like uh, digital stuff you can just keep piling on tracks forever and, and I'm um, I'm just I'm curious if you uh, if you think about that if that makes it harder to tell when you're done like when when is too much uh, I'm a me I'm a I'm a I'm a mega minimalist. I love like the least the better. So I I I I I I'll make myself stop after about ten tracks. That's like that's ridiculous for me. as ten. So um, so no, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. Like my favorite songs, some of my favorite songs I did were like four track. You know what I mean. Um, uh, yeah, I don't need much, so it, does, it doesn't really affect me at all. Uh, definitely affects me. <laughs> uh, we, you know, just finished making this album together and watching how 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 differently both of us work and how, like, you know, it's 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 so amazing to be in 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 a place where you could look at the screen and be like, those are the sounds. Here are the waves. Here's an end, and being able to like visually see the way that he thinks of sound and where things should go, and then how different that is from from mine. And I I I know in my heart when it's done, um, but I am definitely someone who will listen back and be like, nope, there need a cowbell needs to happen there, and uh, and and this little uh, some something else needs to happen in the space, or this needs to drop out, or this needs to go back in. But yeah, you do have to get to a point where you're like, okay, that's enough. Um, I think mine isn't about adding stuff. It's about realizing that it's never really going to be perfect until you stop. Yeah. Like, you can yeah. just keep going forever and ever, and you have to be like, all right, that's good. No yeah. one else will know. No one else will know that in the 16th bar, that snare just sounds shitty to you. <laughs> right. You have to let it go. Yeah. Oh yeah, convincing yourself that no one will ever notice is so hard in the middle of mixing something. Wow, I have done, I've done things I don't want to describe. <laughs> I've visually rearranged kick hits over a four minute song. Oh, oh I don't even want to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, you solve the puzzle you've got, right? Like now in the computer age, all of my instrumental arrangements are too busy and have too many layers and I have to pair them back and that's always we let all the ideas that we think are good get in and then just start clawing it back um, as Darth marches down the hall <laughs> flinging his victims left and right. um, that was not a problem in the four track days uh, if you have a crossword puzzle like you solve for this tiny little space. I used to write ad banners in like the late '90s for websites, and you had like nine, ten words. You had to like that's a real different problem to solve than like you know first page for the Joko Cruise. Um, and if you have no constraints on what your solution is going to look like, it's like at the end of a cure. You know, you just like. <laughs> Um, but you develop an ear for like when it's too much and you accept that it always starts too much and then you call it back, or at least that was my approach. I think uh, that there are still constraints. Um, there's hardware constraints, like uh, from what I was talking about, having to make sure his computer had certain specs to make sure he could even run software. Um, once you get into mixing and you start using plugins and there's restraints on your CPU power, because if you put too many compressors on this vocal, then suddenly everything's 
getting all choppy. Like there's still there's yeah. still a certain sandbox. It's a bigger sandbox, but there's still things you have to consider. And um, in terms of being done, I mean, I think in, in my experience, the thing that separates like I know a lot of like really talented people, especially in the rap. I know people who just rap circles around the planet, but. Um, uh, is this just kind of going on forever? <laughs> is, it on? Yeah. is it on forever now? That's is it crazy. just on always? Is it in the screening room? It's amazing. Um, <laughs> I think the difference between a lot of people I know who have careers in music and people that don't is, is being able to actually tell themselves that something is done and put it out into the world. Because a, a lot of us have a tendency to keep going over things over and over and over again and, and finding and fixing and all of that. But, um, you know, I heard a quote about films, and I think it holds true for music, too, is that the project is never really finished, it just escapes. You know what I mean? It's never done. And that's There's, just kind of yeah. something you have to get There's used to. There's no album that I, that I, I, or a song that I have in mind that I have not listened back to and been like, oh, it's still not done. Yeah. I mean, and your perspective changes on it yeah. after a while. Like, you listen to a song you made a year later, and you're like, every decision you made that day, you were fully behind. But now you're like, why did I think yeah, any of those all things? all wrong. Yeah. But let us all remember the lesson of Mr. George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your hard-earned, later-in-life perspective is sometimes horse shit. <laughs>